everyone, welcome to the life of a first year medical student at the University of Pretoria. Yeah, yeah, so right now we are off to Kalitia, we're off to the dining hall to get something to eat. Yeah, yeah. it's life. Yeah, man. What are we eating? What are we having today? Hello everyone, my name is Sihe Mukhorosi from Sihe Medic. Hello everyone, my name is Yaguadza Lichirwanya from the Rohesh Tech. Okay, so we've been invited by Selule Rokwabe to feature in a channel and share our journey as to how we got into medicine. So there's a couple of questions that she sent us and that we're going to answer. And the first question is, which high school did you go to? Um, so to answer the first question, um, for me, I went to Asibe Muni High School. I matriculated in 2017. Um, I matriculated with a total of six distinctions. But unfortunately, I couldn't get into medicine, so I ended up doing electrical and computer engineering at the University of Cape Town, of which I found out that um, it wasn't, um, I wasn't passionate about it, it wasn't for me. So what I did was I applied for pharmacy um, at George University, and I went there, did only one year, and I managed to do very well. I got an average of 76.5%, and I used that average to apply um, at the University of Pretoria, and I got accepted for medicine. Mm. Okay, my journey is also almost similar. I also didn't get in conventionally from matric. So I matriculated 2016 at Eshoe High School in KZN. Um, matriculated with two distinctions. However, I didn't meet the minimum requirements required to study medicine. And that is a level 5 in maths and physics. I had level 4s in maths and physical sciences. So what I did is in 2017, I went to, I took a gap year. And in 2018, that way, I enrolled for a BSc in Life Sciences at Fakumahato Health Sciences University, where I did my BSc for two years. Then I applied to the University of Pretoria. With an average of 77.5, I was able to gain admission at UP. All right, so the second question is, what is your first year experience like as a medical student? Um, yo, as a medical student, um, the experience differs because um, in medicine, um, it's, a, it's, it's a lot of work. Um, I won't lie, it's a lot of work. So you, you are stressed most of the times, so your sleeping routines are disrupted. So you end up not having a, 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 like a, a fixed sleeping routine. Um, so, but like what, what I can advise is that like, you must have a social life, you know, be able to balance your life because medicine is stressful. So you do need to engage in other things. Um, communicate with people because you are experiencing. Mm, uh, I agree. Like you really need to live a balanced life. Like your social life and your academic life should, you know, both be good. Because uh, you will need something to, to take your mind out of academics, you know. Yeah. So I would suggest that if you're going to be doing your first year medicine next year, make sure you try and get something that will, you know, help you relax and take your mind out of academics. Uh, the next question is, um, which modules are done in first year and are the credits given if you have a BSc? Okay, so um, to answer that question, um, we first need to talk about the fact that as medical student, first year medical student, we don't just um, attend classes at the Prince of Medical Campus. So what we do at first is we attend at Hatfield um, to get our BSc students. So we do BSc type of modules. So the modules that we do um, first semester include um, your chemistry, your ML which is your molecular and cell biology, and then you do your physics for life sciences, and then what else do you do? We do medical terminology, philosophy of science and medicine. We do uh, MGW, which has two components, which is your um, psychology and sociology. And then we have AIM, which is basically your computer literacy sort of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And with regards to credits, uh, you have to apply. You go to each uh, head of department uh, if you believe you've done that uh, particular module in your previous degree. And then if they, usually if you have a degree, you, you're not given any problems. But what I realized with myself, it was much more difficult to get credits because I only did two years of BSc. I didn't complete the degree. So they really like thoroughly checked that I did every single chapter that they are covering. But yeah, they do give credits if you did it, except for second semester. You, they don't give credits in medical campus. 
And yeah, I think now we're gonna talk about the modules that we do in second semester, which is in Prince of Medical Campus. Okay, so yeah, the modules now that you do second semester, those are your medicine related courses now. You are you are being introduced to medicine now. So um, you do courses um such as your metabolism, your clinical anatomy, your embryology, um, your histology, osteology, immunology, neurophysiology, muscle physiology, genetics, um, urology, pre and postnatal growth. Uh, what else did I miss? Um, pharmacology. Your, yeah, you do pharmacology. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, another question is, which module is the worst and how can one prepare for this module? <laughs> okay, well, that question has got to be, you know, different for, for, for each and every one because you know, people are different. So for me, um, it, it, it has to be philosophy, philosophy of medicine. The thing is, the reason why I found it challenging and um, not really interesting for me was because it's, it, it's a lot, it's too much work, it has too many things that you have to go through. And as I went through it, I realized that most of the work that I was doing, I wasn't going to use it um, anytime soon. So that's why I ended up being interested in it. And yeah, if you lose interest in something, you end up not paying too much attention to it and it, it will give you problems. So yeah, that's why. It's funny that your, your worst module is actually my favorite. <laughs> uh, my worst module is uh, has to be pharmacology. Right? Uh, not because it's difficult or anything, I just feel like it came at a wrong time. Like we just completed an eight week block, which was draining, like we were studying every single day. And now with pharmacology, we have daily tests, like every single day we are writing a test. And we're only left with two weeks of school, so it's like, yeah. Now, no one has the enthusiasm to be studying every single day. But how one can prepare for that? Study. It's life. Yeah. <laughs> Study. Yeah. Now, the next question is, what keeps you going when the road gets tough? Another personal question. Okay, well, um, what, what can I say? Um, like it's, it's, it's very much important to know um, why are you, are you doing this? Why, why are you here? So our why is differ. So it, it, it's very much important that your why is is, 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 what, is what keeps you going. You know, and um, because like as people we have different backgrounds. So for me, like I'm always I'm, I'm always reminded of where of where I'm coming from, and it's it's something that I, I want to change, and it's something that I'm not willing really to go back to. So I always work towards achieving better things in life. You know, so even when the road gets tough, I know that I I, I like that. Giving up is not is not an option, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 those kind of, of, of things that drive us as as, as people to always want to achieve more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Um, <clears throat> I must say, with me, I always uh, think back to the time when I was doing BSc. I was depressed at the lowest in my life, you know. Um, back when I was still applying to get into medicine. So whenever it gets rough, I just think, but you know, you've come so far. You can't give up now. You really have to to do this. You owe it to yourself and to everyone else who's still trying to get into medicine. You know, yeah. yeah. This advice to future and current medical students. Current, okay. Well, um, what can I say? Um, for me, I, I was in a very advantageous position when I got into medicine because I I I'm from different universities, so I'm varsity experienced. So when I got here. I knew that um, in varsity, getting distinctions and, and, and all those kind of marks that are up there is, 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 is not something that, you know, should, should kill you if, 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 like, you don't get it, you know. I, like, when, when I got in, realizing that medicine is a lot of work, so I just strive to, to, to make it through, to pass, understand my work, you know, grades are just, you know, they're just a cherry on top. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's there or not. You know, so in advice that I can give to current, especially to, to current medical students, especially those um, that are from matric, that uh, were doing matric last year, I can say that um, if maybe you got your 90s back in matric uh, or your 80s and whatever, and then now you are seeing that you are getting your 50s and 60s and you think something went wrong. No, nothing went wrong. It just you, you changed from high school to university. You know, it's something that's very much acceptable. In fact, it's healthy. Um, 
yeah, that, nothing's wrong with you. It's just that, you know, mm. varsity is varsity, guys. You can't expect to get hundreds and nineties. Just know your content, know your work, pass, get through, get your degree, and yeah. Mm. To add uh, to that also, to the current medical students, guys, we are in medicine now. It's no longer a competition. Just enjoy the course, make sure you have an understanding of what you're doing, and bear in mind that what you're doing today, or what you're studying today, you will need to know and understand the content later on when you're a medical doctor. Yeah. Also, what, what I can say um, is that, like to, to, to those that are still trying to get into medicine, especially matriculants, you know, uh, from matric to get into medicine is very, yeah, it's very difficult, if I, if I can put it like that, because of competition. You know, sometimes you do meet the requirements necessary to get into medicine, but sometimes you don't get in, not because you didn't like um, qualify, but the competition, guys, you know, matriculants, matriculants, that's mad. So, yeah, the competition there is tough. Mm. So, up your game, that's all I can say. Up your game, at least get an average of 85, at least, at least, man. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah. And to students, uh, maybe in BSCs or other degrees trying to get into medicine, mm -hmm. just just do your best, guys. 75% plus average, yeah, you should be fine. Mm. And to add to that, to those of you who are doing any other degree trying to get into medicine, uh, just remember, guys, uh, it's not a race. Um, everything will happen like in the right time. So do not compare yourself to other people. Some people, it might take them only one year, of doing that degree that they don't want, then they are able to switch to medicine the following year. Others have to complete a degree, others complete an honors, master's degree before they get in. But for as long as you are passionate about medicine and you are really, really serious about getting in, I know you'll put in the work and everything will work out in the end. Yeah, yeah um, and that brings us to the end of this video. Um, thank you very much for having us. We hope it was beneficial to you guys. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to subscribe to Sere Lego's channel. It's free. Completely Man. free. Mahala ha. Shop. Our greatest glory is never in falling, but in rising every time we fall. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like these. Thank you to the new subscribers, very much appreciated.